The importance of landing humans back on the moon is we're going back in a way that is totally different. We've had almost 60 years of experience and we're taking every single ounce of experience we have and taking that with our international partners, with our commercial partners. We've been working for the last year with three partners who will help us achieve the next human mission to the moon because we know that this first step to the moon will then lead us to go to Mars. And we know that the human landing system is one of the first steps to get us there. And so we've been working with Dynetics, a Lido's company. We've been working with Blue Origin, who have partners of Draper, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman. In addition, we've also been working with SpaceX. This is a very, very exciting time for the Human Landing System Program. They've spent a lot of blood, sweat, and tears over this last couple years getting ready for this moment. We're really excited to bring you the announcement of who NASA is going to continue to finish out the Human Landing System and take humans back to the moon. NASA has chosen SpaceX to return us to the moon. I am so excited to partner with SpaceX in this fantastic endeavor for the Artemis suite of missions. So congratulations to the SpaceX team. The SpaceX design is a single stage solution using their Starship. It provides extensive volume for the crew with two airlocks and ample down mass capability. The SpaceX proposal included in-space propellant transfer demonstration and uncrewed test landing. So now that we've selected our partner and for the next phase going forward, we have to make sure that the testing occurs because we're not going to launch humans until we have a successful test. So we will be working to make sure that uh, the design and everything that we have going forward so far is ready to go. So the human landing system is going to allow us to be able to access different parts of the lunar surface but it also allows us to explore a new technology and capabilities that will help us when we are trying to figure out our next round of technologies to be able to help us land on Mars or our other planets out there. I'd like to thank the companies uh, for the great work this, this past year. Uh, we've all learned a lot. I'd like to thank the NASA team because you have definitely risen to this challenge. It is one more step and an exciting group of steps that will get us to a sustainable human landing system to the moon. <laughs>